Alright, let's begin. Night two. We can only make 12 tofu. Well, we have more than enough miso soup, so that shouldn't be a problem. We also got sparrow sake. Which we should probably be conservative with. But we'll have it on the menu anyway. Let's just hope no one and not everyone orders it. And that should be good. Alright. Night 2. We gotta make 3,000 yen. I'm gonna think about how much did we make in the first place. Uh, 315. Come to think of it, the fact that she was able to start from 0 yen and just make food without having to pay a thing. The proprietress. Welcome, welcome. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can't actually run when you're actually running the restaurant. Okay, wait, hold on. Fox and a tanuki. And they actually want a sparrow sake. Well, great, that's 50 yen. Add honey to that. One of you out of like it. Why is this Izakaya still so shabby after operating for such a long time? We've been running it for one night, ma'am. It takes time to build a business, you see. This is only day two. Maybe we should give her extra night blindness so that she pays more to have it cured. Such as Mystia's ways. Welcome. It's a rabbit. Well, the rabbit, it's usually easy to make happy. Lamprey. Not a fan of the fact that they're all ordering sparrow sakes. But it actually may not be as big of a deal for one reason. Uh, they only have limited money, I believe. Let's check the book. I remember there being a way, and it may not be normal customers, that actually might only be rare guests. They have a set amount of money they spend. I'm pretty sure though, it varies by region. Enjoy. The problem with lampreys is I can't get any of them to go beyond neutral status with it. But considering it's 50 for a sparrow sake, you got 72 yen. Oh, and two tips, thank you. Wait, who the heck is that? Is that some kind of snake? Tofu. Why is everybody ordering the Sparrow Sake? Both a good thing and a horrible thing. If I recall, snakes like it mild. How much? 21. I have 21 lampreys. As for how music is related to cooking, oh, that's the beauty of nature, right? Come to think of it, Missy is not singing any songs. She's supposed to be humming the entire time. I'd like to think that in lore or in canon, she would just be non-stop humming and singing every single second of the day and when making food. We'll get to the part where that becomes more of a thing. Oh wait, the snake did leave. Oh, let's let's check. I don't know if we were wrong. Doesn't like mild. Good with alcohol, mountain delicacy. Okay, well, uh, we have a barrel pork. Popular trend. And, of course, meat. So meat is important, not vegetarian. Great. Uh, 
it's been a long time since I played this, so memorizing all these dishes and likes and dislikes is gonna be a bit of work. I don't think the old guy would like strange food. We can't mix that with meat, so unfortunately we're gonna have to give you a mediocre dish at best. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. His mustache probably covers up the scent. You guys want to say it or he's a Kaya? Well, we attracted two people doing that. Oh, wait, who? The old guy. Alright. Yeah, we can, we can put meat on that. A lot of people like meat, too, if I recall. Let's see if that's true. The other one that doesn't wrap it's like fruity and cool and then sweet stuff. Let's see. Meat, 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 meat. And that's all we need to know. Everyone but rabbits like meat. Here you go. Oh, great, another. How many sockets do we have left? Eh, we should be fine. Nice almost over. Not a big deal. Who's two? Fox and cat. And we can't make it with meat, unfortunate. Well, we can add some honey to it. Be respectful to your elders. I dropped more pea points and grains over the course of something. Oh good, you asked for the miso again. Great, we can add in seafood and meat. That actually takes out vegetarian. I'm gonna think of it. Does he like vegetarian at all? No. Okay, well then it doesn't matter. I hope the ingredients here are fresh. The cat's tongue is very perceptive. More lampreys. We don't have anything that can satisfy them with lampreys. Who wants the tofu? Number three, that's the rabbit. That's the one that does not like meat. What about savory? Okay, yeah, so that and... Salmon should be fine. Good enough. And then more lampreys. That's for number two, right? Have some tofu. We're not making a lot of yen. We need to somehow accrue 3,000. Well, we'll get there. Have a nice evening. Wriggle night bug. Alright, up with another tutorial. Don't ignore me, you saw me here. Ah, it's Wriggle. What's up? You dare ask what's up? Seeing the load of fireflies and not catering to her immediately, you've grown some guts. I see. I mean, you can just order and I'll bring it to you. What? Are you telling me to fuss over what to eat? Then leaving me to regret my choice as I wait for the food to arrive? Just like any other common guest does. Come on, doesn't everyone else do it? Don't compare me to those guys. Ugh, this is frustrating. What exactly do you want? Wait, Missy, I come over here a second. What is it, Kyoko? I think... This is what they call omakaze. I don't quite get it, but I think that as a professional chef, you can't just wait for guests to tell you their needs. Instead, you should actively try to understand what they want and tailor to their needs. How am I going to predict what they want? This is the challenge. It's a special guest proprietress. If you try hard, you can do it. She's ordering something now. Give it a try. I don't think I can do this. Rare guests don't tell, directly tell you. It would be great if all dishes tasted sweet. I want low alcohol beverage. She wants something sweet, but Kyoko refused we don't have anything. Are you for real? <laughs> We've been using honey since night one. It's okay, calm down. 
A confident chef can creatively modify recipes based on their experience. Here's some honey I collected at the Yokai Trail that you've already been collecting. But apparently your bird brain doesn't know what sweet is. Try adding it to the original recipe. We're also going to add a sasada. I do remember she- oh, we can't. Well, I do know Rigo does like Sasada, so for some reason she likes to eat her own bugs. Low alcohol. Enjoy. That actually would have been a above average, but because it's a tutorial, it's not. Bravo! Songa yokai and humans are often harder to satisfy. Situations like this one may happen again in the future. A lot. If they are dissatisfied, horrible spell cards will happen and destroy your izakaya yet again in your dream. But on the other hand, if we manage to satisfy this rare guest, maybe something good will happen. So optimistic, Misty. Yeah, that's the spirit we need. Okay, that's for something sweet, but this is too mild. I don't like bland tasting stuff. Whatever. Never mind. The food's not bad, but just so so. Yeah, because you wouldn't let me add a sasada. Why are we only getting a mediocre review? We tried hard and even added honey. It seems that satisfying our rare guest specific requests alone doesn't guarantee the best review. We should also consider their usual taste. From now on, I'll record every guest likes and dislikes that you've already been doing. Cooking is just like fighting a battle. You'll regret it if you aren't careful every step of the way. Sometimes rare familiar guests will show up. Who's saying that? If you manage to understand what they want, you can get some exceptional rewards. But be careful if they're disappointed. Also, regardless of rare or common guests, you could earn a nice tip if you treat them well. It might even become part of your main source of income. And uh, that's it. How much? We made 400 bucks. Yen. She didn't even pay us for that. So bland, she says. So mediocre, she says. Great. By the way, Kyoko. Hmm? You were big help yesterday. Thanks for the honey you gave me earlier. It's important to stockpile on ingredients. As I say, it's good to always be prepared for the unexpected. Speaking of which, Missy... You know how to acquire ingredients, right? I can usually collect quite a bit from the, the trail like I've been doing. Uh, not, not like I collected a million honey already, depending on my luck. That's right, you get extra ingredients when you're lucky. Ingredients need time to replenish themselves after being collected. You can't keep taking from Mother Nature without giving her time to rest. Or she'll bite you back. I'm always grateful. By the way, I think they're the right time for collecting certain ingredients. Pay attention to this. Just like the Sparrow Sake. We're going to open our Izakai here for quite a while. We have plenty of time to figure out where to find all the good stuff. But don't be too obsessed with gathering ingredients either. We still have an Izakai to run at 6 p.m. On the other hand, if you don't have anything else to collect, you can open up early. But I still feel worried. And that's also a lie. Ingredients always respawn enough so that you will always be able to collect something before opening. Although the Yokai Trail has ample ingredients, it's not quite enough if we use some up at last night's rate. Pfft. Of course we're not going to rely solely on collecting. Look over there. On the other side of the bridge? Yeah, there's a human merchant over there for some reason. We should eat her. We sold ingredients. However, he's jacking up his prices. No one, I'm not human. That takes money. Gotta spend money to make money. That's how you run a business. Missy, you really give off an aura of a proprietress when you say things like that. I am a proper proprietress to begin with, even though my business is pretty small. It doesn't matter. Let's work hard together. One day we'll have a giant izakaya. No, multiple izakayas. You got anything else to say? Hey everyone at the Yokai Trail! Come and check out the Night Sparrow Izakaya tonight! What is this side note? 
I'll save. That's just saving. Yeah, it's just it's just all the save stuff. Don't worry about it. How to satisfy Virga? And basically, if you just forget anything, you can just go back and talk to her. Now, does anyone else show up? We'll talk to the mercer in a second, but. If Rigo already came, though, to Arizakaya, then she should be around here too, right? Uh, apparently not yet. If it takes time for that to happen. Alright, Merchant. What do you got to sell? Probably stuff that we can already collect. But it does save us time. I have new inflated products today. For all of your overpriced needs, come and check them out. Don't worry about the price. Yeah, yes, eggs. We don't have any, actually. Should probably... Dirt cheap. Now, we already have more than enough pork, and we're going to be getting more. But if there is anything we could actually use more of, it's different kinds of drinks. They also sell filling pumpkins for eight a piece. Okay, we can get a few of those. Get a little bit of everything, actually. The drinks are really what we're gonna want, though. They're not exactly cheap, either. Well, we gotta look at it this way. We spend a lot now, we won't need to worry about it in the future. So you know what? <laughs> uh, how do you quick buy? Perfect. Oh, we don't have enough. Alright, well, we'll have to dish the salmon. And we'll have to narrow down the list from here. Seaweed is... Doesn't matter. Radishes, we can't just get anywhere. And that has good with alcohol, so that'll be good for the snake. These are both meats. One's more expensive than the other. Alright. Yeah, we're still overpriced. We'll ditch about five onions, two pumpkins, but the drinks are the most expensive, so we'll lower those down to about ten. And the bamboo shoot we don't need. And we'll, uh, lot most of our money, but that's fine. Here you go. Now when do we need to turn this quest in? Eleven days. Yeah, no, that, that's not a problem at all. Alright, well now we start the next night.